In this video, we will look at the importance of constructing logical arguments. Success in college depends upon students' ability to construct arguments based on logical evidence and reasoning. Many students find this higher order thinking skill challenging. Providing some scaffolding for your students can help them understand the structure of arguments, evaluate claims, and analyze persuasive text. Through practice, students can independently develop the ability to construct arguments supported by evidence. To help my students really build their confidence and gain a better understanding to the structure of arguments, I love to use the CER strategy, claim, evidence, and reasoning. To help them better understand how writers use claim, evidence, and reasoning, we use an outside persuasive text. I like to find nonfiction articles about current events and we sit down with that article and they use highlighters to highlight the claim, the evidence, and the reasoning. Then we actually start evaluating an argument. We look at the author's claim, evidence, and reasoning and look to decipher whether or not it's a strong argument. The next thing that we start to do once we've really gained that confidence and understanding how arguments work, we can actually start creating our own arguments. I use the CER all over again, but instead of using it to analyze and evaluate, we use it to create. There's a box that says claim, evidence, and another box for reasoning, and they use those three boxes as brainstorming to start building their own arguments. Supporting arguments is not just restricted to essay writing. In my science class, before we do an experiment, I have students write a hypothesis. After it's over, students decide whether their hypothesis was accepted or rejected by backing up their claim with evidence they collected during the experiment. In my math classroom, I often give students a claim and ask them to evaluate it. In order to do that, they have to form a hypothesis about the claim, give evidence that supports it, and then determine ways that they can test their hypothesis so they can gather more evidence. There are many other strategies that you can use to support students constructing arguments. Please share your discussion ideas in our next Thought Forum.